Well, 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 look who decided to click on another number school video. In today's video, we're actually not gonna be focusing on our keyboards anymore. In this video, we're actually gonna be focusing on the mouse. So this right here is a mouse I use in every single number school video you've probably seen. This right here is called the Logitech G Pro X Super Light. And no, I am not sponsored by this video. I had to buy this mouse with my own money back in the day. This ran me about $200. It was really expensive, and I think it still is, but it is super overpowered. It is extremely light, and it reacts extremely fast. But in today's video, we're not gonna be using our overpowered mouse that we use in every single bounty hunting video. Instead of using a $200 pay-to-win mouse, we're actually gonna switch back to one of the oldest mice I have ever used back in the day. This right here is actually called the Logitech G502. It is made by the same company. That's how you guys know I'm pretty loyal to these guys. As you guys can see, it is extremely big big and bulky and you could probably get one of these for like about 25 bucks now. They're not really that expensive, but they do have a cool little feature. I don't know how this would help me in blocks fruit, but if you click a special little button right here, you can move this little scroll wheel to spin infinitely. But that's not important right now. What is important is we're gonna go ahead and plug this mouse in, which has actually some pretty cool lights I'll show you guys, and then we'll get right into the game. So after plugging it in, it actually lights up right here on this G logo and these little bars right here. That's how you know it's a true gamer mouse. This very expensive mouse over here doesn't light up. It's not cool, guys. If it lights up, it's totally cool. It gives you uh, bonus points, right? It's like slapping stickers on a car. It gives you extra horsepower. But no more distracting. Let's actually get into the gameplay now. The first thing I noticed since we got in game is how different the two mice are compared to each other. The $25 mouse that I'm using now is way more heavier than the other expensive mouse, which is kind of a double-edged sword, which means it could be good and it could be bad. For example, I'm gonna be using the love fruit in the first seat just to show you guys a fruit that you actually use to aim with your mouse. This fruit right here will determine if using a mouse that's more expensive or cheaper will actually have an impact. But of course, before we fight any players, we gotta go ahead and test the number skull luck and see if we'll actually get a good fruit for one. And as soon as I got here, there's some Somebody trying to kill me but he's a pretty low level buddy it's not worth it do not try attacking me let's just go ahead and roll a fruit and hope i get something good and oh my gosh i actually got something okay the ice fruit isn't too bad. The person that just attacked me said, please. I'm assuming they want the ice fruit. I'll just go ahead and give it to him because he's a low player, but he does have the light fruit. I wouldn't recommend eating the ice fruit over light fruit if you're just grinding. I mean, they're kind of both the same. I'd save it, buddy. But for now, let's go hunt a max level player. From the looks of it, we already found a high level player over here. He is max level and he's using the ice fruit. Okay, we already got some action. Let's go ahead and try hitting him with the best of friendo. He's got the ice fruit unlocked. Let's go ahead and try to see if we could destroy him. This max Mouse feels very, very slow compared to what I normally use, but I think it's okay. Let's go ahead and try to land a combo on him, and we still kind of got the damage off on him, which is great. There's a little bit of a problem. He's still surviving all of our hits, which is not a good sign, but we can still try to snipe him here. Bro is gonna make a run for it, but little does he know I have the flamingo, bro. I'm just gonna catch up to him no matter what. I'm not sure where bro is going, but he is one shot away from dying, so we're gonna go ahead and finish him off here for 11,000 bounty. There are some other players over there too. Don't mind if I, uh, you know, just test out the love fruit on that guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I instantly deleted him. And after clapping him, he ended up leaving the game. I still don't know how to feel about this mouse though. And oh my gosh, my best of friendo just killed a low level player. And now I noticed a Buddha user just chilling in the middle of the ocean. And whoa, is that another max level magma user over there? Okay, it looks like we got a magma user and a Buddha user here. Can I go ahead and try clapping this magma user who's stuck in the water right now? Let's go ahead and try to see if we can catch up to him. But he's gonna try to fly away with his magma fruit. I guess we're gonna have to end up going for this poor buddha user over here oh never mind he's going straight for the magma user right now we're just kind of messing with this buddha user over here while this magma user tries to get free hits in but i think i could easily handle this buddha user no problem all i have to do is just hit him with a bunch of shots and he is dead let's go ahead and get out of our flamingo transformation and try to combo him using other things for some reason the spiky trident never works against buddha users it could be a glitch that blockers needs to patch but i think it's fine we can still clap him without using it go ahead and try hit him with the best of friendo he is one shot away from dying this guy's gonna try to take my kill but i'm gonna secure it for 8.5 thousand bounty and that guy just died over here for nothing the magma user is still just trying to third party but it doesn't matter we secured our kills turns out that buddha user that we just killed is actually a fan and he's asking for a screenshot yo let's go and now this guy came out of nowhere and he keeps smacking me bro if you keep smacking me i'm gonna clap you with this love fruit right now all right bro you asked for it let's just go ahead and one shot bro real quick and he disappeared oh my gosh 15,000 damage that fast bro 
never even stood a chance. Maybe the first C is a little too easy. We should go ahead and go over to the second C and put this mouse to a real test where players are a lot more sweaty and less forgiving. This is where our test with the $25 mouse gets harder. We're gonna say goodbye to the love fruit and switch over to another fruit where we're gonna have to move our mouse really fast as well. Something like the spider fruit is really good, but there's an ability using the spider fruit where you have to aim the C ability in order to get it to hit your enemies. And, uh, let's see how it works out using a cheaper mouse. So far, my thoughts are this mouse is actually really solid for 25 bucks. If you guys could find that for a really good price, anything cheaper, I would recommend it. But let's be sure. Using my observation, I don't know what the heck is going on over there, but there's a lot of players fighting, so I'm gonna go see what's up. He's just standing over there. Maybe I could go ahead and sneak attack him with a V ability, and I completely missed, embarrassingly. I even have his PvP on, and he absolutely does. I just suck. But it doesn't matter. We could go ahead and try comboing him but but the npc actually took the hit but we still finished him off for 8.5 thousand bounty and i think there's somebody else trying to chase us over here bro what are you doing you're gonna get absolutely destroyed he survived all that oh bro doesn't even have his pvp on duh oh but this guy came back for his revenge this is not good boys he is back for revenge and he wants more but we got him stuck in the v ability but he actually lagged out of it surprisingly good doesn't matter though because i could finish him off with using the c ability and a god human combo let me go ahead and hit him with a thermal laceration go ahead and god human see him and he got instantly deleted for another 8.5 thousand bounty i don't want to bully just one guy i want to make sure this mouse is actually worth its money so let's use it against other higher level players as well using my observation i noticed somebody else running over there i'm not sure what he's doing but we're gonna go hunt him down i feel like spider-man right now just floating up into the sky but he is trapped right here or maybe i just suck and i just completely missed but i don't even know if he has his pvp on let's go ahead and try using our c ability and he absolutely does have his pvp on. let's go ahead and try trapping him in a web real quick and oh my gosh bro got instantly deleted as you guys can see i am actually aiming pretty well with the c ability whenever i shoot him with my ropes using my observation again i noticed somebody else over at the graveyard who's a max level so let's go ahead and spider-man our way over there wait a second he magically disappeared i can't even see him oh i think he went back over there yep there are a bunch of max level players three over there to be exact he's got nowhere to run now he's right there just sitting in the wide open and i'm not sure why he's actually doing that but we could go ahead and teleport right in front of his face go ahead and use our v ability and never mind he doesn't even have his pvp on you gotta be kidding me all that chasing for that i hope both sides of your pillow is warm tonight buddy maybe we could go fight some other people over here and there is a lot of people actually fighting over here there's three max level players going at it we got a love fruit user and it seems like an ice user oh there's two ice users this is gonna be ridiculous but we could go ahead and use our c ability to spam this guy's gonna try to dodge but he is absolutely donezo 10 000 bounty from him what about over there? What are these guys doing? I'm not even sure, but they're both about to get clapped. I'm about to pick up three whole kills just to myself right now. But unfortunately, he is lagging. But I'm just gonna punch him. 30,000 bounty in a matter of seconds. I have become an unkillable beast. We should go to the third sea where people do not touch grass, do not sleep, do not eat. Time to say goodbye to the spider fruit because now I'm gonna test its spam ability in the third C. Of course, we gotta use leopard to spam. I wanna see if I can hit my spam abilities actually aiming something like the fireball over here. So with that being said, let's go ahead and try to find some cheeks to absolutely destroy. And as I teleported into the mansion, everybody here is max level. Oh my gosh, and I'm already getting noticed. He's a YouTuber. Uh-oh. This is probably going to be like a 10v1. I don't know if I can handle it with this $25 mouse. If I somehow win this 10v1, then I guess the mouse is a huge W. But there is a lot of people out here who's ready to clap my cheeks. As you guys can see, I'm already getting chased by two people. I don't know if they're going to attack me yet, but I'm not going to wait around to find out. This is, yep, already going to happen. I already knew it. This guy over here wants to fight. So let's go ahead and hunt this guy down. Uh oh, this is going to be so bad. He's a dragon user, and there's somebody else trying to god human me at the same time. And what the lag? Yo, that lag is insane. From the looks of it, I am getting absolutely teamed by so many people right now. I can't even move. Where is my screen? Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. But I can still have a fighting chance, hopefully. They are using everything against me. It is insane. Okay, we got that guy damaged. He is one shot away from dying. If I kill him, I get a health reset, which is huge for me. I absolutely need that desperately, but he's not going to let me kill him. He's just going to keep running away to the max ability. As you guys can see, I can't even move right now. But somehow, I am still alive, which is insane. Somebody like me shouldn't be alive right now. But I think it's fine. I think we will still destroy them in the end, boys. He is super low, and there we go! 17,000 bounty! 
Hold on, who am I fighting that has that much bounty? If we take a look at the leaderboards, we're fighting somebody with 10 million bounty on the Marine team almost. And that's not even including everybody else in this lobby trying to fight me. This is like probably a 60 million bounty fight versus somebody with 17 million bounty. But it's fine, I still believe I will win. We ended up retreating back to the safe zone because there was too many of them. But I still got away with the kill. The fact that I took on this whole server almost with only 17 million bounty is insane. And how I know they're teaming is that two of them right there are not even attacking each other. They're actually attacking everybody else too that steps outside. I ended up going over here to the sea castle because I noticed a solo player over here. If he has his PvP on, he's gonna get destroyed. This time it won't be a 10v1, I hope. But it doesn't matter. I was still able to take it on no problem. But now he is actually running for his life. But that's completely fine because I can still catch up to him, hopefully. But I caught up to him. He's actually right here in this little sea castle area. Bro, did he teleport over to Floating Turtle? And he absolutely did. He's trying to trick me out. But bro, you are not going to juke me out, even if it's the last thing you do. Now he is running over here at Hydra. I'm not sure what the heck his plan is, but I think his plan is just to run away and just pray he doesn't die. Let's go ahead and try hitting him with one more hit here. And he should be dead if we land this next ability. He is 1 HP. Bro, just die. 10.9 thousand bounty. Bro thought he was 200 IQ trying to juke me out there, but that was not happening. Never in a million years, bro. And he turned out to be a fan. But with that being said, I think it's about time we end it here. If you guys enjoyed watching me use a $25 mouse, go ahead and leave a like and sub and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.